on Monday marks the anniversary of uh, Corey Stringer's death. Uh, Corey died on August 1, 2001 uh, in training camp at Mankato of heat stroke. He was only 27 years old. He was, of course, a Pro Bowl tackle for the Vikings, played with the Vikings from 1995 uh, to 2000, and then 2001 preseason, obviously. Um, and uh, so it, 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 it we should take a moment and think about uh, 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 what that means. And uh, his death went a long way toward pub publicizing the issue of heat stroke. Uh, I play a lot of football. Uh, I play every summer. It's uh, hot out often, and uh, I'm very cognizant as a result of that tragic tragedy. Uh, very cognizant of making sure that I'm hydrated, that I take plenty of rest, and uh, there are things that you control. And uh, sadly, uh, heat stroke is something that can be uh, is is very preventable uh, as long as you take uh, measures to uh, to ensure that you don't uh, succumb to it. So um. People are most likely to die of heat stroke in the first few days of practice, so especially for young athletes, you, to keep that in mind, uh, you can control your hydration, drink lots of water, drink lots of uh, Gatorade, uh, lots of fluids. Uh, the more heat there is, the more rest periods you'll need to have, and they will need to be of longer duration. And there's something uh, such as uh, heat acclimatization, so you acclimate yourself to the heat by phasing in exercise in heat, uh, so you uh, uh, get used to uh, exercising in the heat. Now, um, this is all coming from uh, Cor Kelsey Stringer, Corey Stringer's widow, who um, has uh, devoted herself to um, preventing heat stroke among among athletes. Uh, she founded the Corey Stringer Institute and its goal obviously is to uh, prevent heat stroke in athletes. Uh, they do outreach and education. Um, their goal is to establish nationwide heat rules to protect athletes. Uh, the NCAA and the NFL now have mandatory heat guidelines in place. Uh, part of that was frankly due to a lawsuit that Corey Stringer brought against the NFL as a result of Corey Stringer's death. Uh, Kelsey Stringer uh, insisted on, uh, as a settlement for that lawsuit, that the NFL support her efforts uh, with the Corey Stringer Institute. So. Um, but they, you know, it, it was effective. They have heat guidelines in place. Ten states have adopted similar guidelines at the uh, high school level. Um, amazingly, though, Minnesota is not one of them. So if you have kids, high school kids, are playing football, I would pay close attention to what those schools and what those coaches are doing to uh, deal with the heat and make sure that uh, appropriate steps are in place to uh, to ensure that your kids are uh, are safe. Uh, this is it uh, for this week. Uh, that's a wrap. Until next week, uh, my name is David Erickson. This is Minnesota Vikings Chat, uh, the podcast of minnesotavikingschat.com. Follow us there. Uh, on Facebook at facebook.com slash Minnesota Vikings chat on Twitter at twitter.com slash MN Vikings chat use the Vikings chat hashtag uh, so we know uh, what you, when you're talking Vikings and uh, until next week go Vikings <laughs>